Okay, folks, Clint Seeley here. The last um, feature that I want to cover with y'all in the file menu is going to be save design as a bitmap. Say we created this nice design and you wanted to save this as a artwork file that you can then email to a friend or you could upload to like the Yahoo message group or you could put it on your Facebook or your Pinterest so other people can see and comment on it and critique on it. You can do that right from uh, the, the software. You don't actually have to embroider out a sample and take a picture with your phone, even though that'll look more realistic. Uh, this is kind of an easy way to do that. Now, before we do this, remember, when we save the artwork as a bitmap, it's going to also save the background that you see here. So if you want um, the background to look a little bit different for, for the artwork, then go ahead and change it now. Let me show you. If we went into, what is it, design and background, right now we just have this gray background. Say we wanted something that popped a little bit better or something that resembled the fabric that you're actually going to put this design on we would make that change now. So let me see, let me just do a, what about like a light yellow? Would that look, eh, I'm not real crazy about that. You know, and you may go through a few of these before you figure out exactly how you want this to look. You could put it on fabrics, these different kinds of fabrics like this here. You could put, what's a weave look like? Let's take a look. Meh, you know, that's meh, that's okay. Let me see, try one more. Let's go back to a color. And what might we put this on? We might put this on now. Oh, let's just say an orange. Okay, so you get the idea. So we've made an orange background. Now what I'm gonna do is go to File, Save Design as a Bitmap. Now from here, you can select where you want the design. Usually. With this function, I just put the design right on the desktop. I'm going to save it right on the desktop of the computer. That way it's easy to find. And I'm, it's something I'm currently working on that I'll probably delete. So I'll just go to desktop and then name it uh, flower design. I, I really like uh, PNG files. And you can make the background transparent if you want. Um, I won't make it transparent. Let's hit the save. And it has saved the design to the desktop, or it should have. And let's see. There, we can see it right here. And this is just a piece of art now. And you double-click on it, and you can see what the, the digital sample would look like. And that's all there is to it.